Hey everybody, welcome back. So, as promised, we're gonna go up the stairs. Three thousand three hundred and forty-two, three thousand three hundred and forty-three, three thousand four hundred. I just added a hundred there. Three thousand three hundred forty-four, three thousand three hundred forty-five. <sighs> oh, my legs. This looks like the Altair. Looks like a dingy old church. Dang, I hope there's some treasure or so in there or something. So, let's walk up to it. <laughs> Stupid guard dog. Or whatever. Get out of my way. So, yeah, we gotta fight this thing. So, Triple Blaze is the best way to fight this thing because he has a couple of different attacks. One is to jump, one is to charge, which I thought he wasn't doing right there. One is to basically jam me with his horn. There's the charge right there. So. Not. Yeah, so he can jab me with his horn and throw me out with the wrong way. Damn it. That shockwave does hurt me. So I don't know if you guys can actually tell, he is taking damage from every one of those triple blades, just kind of stacking up because I'm getting so close to him, and he just ran me over. So yeah, the whole strategy for this guy is... Don't let him catch you. And don't let him step on you. Or stab you. It's a pretty quick fight as long as you can manage that. <laughs> Piece of cake. Time for some treasure hunting. Actually, I ended up on the side. That's not bad. So now, we actually come and end up up there. So, see there's a chest back there. I'm actually going to come up here for a minute. Oh. Or not, because apparently I can't climb stairs. So... There's another item over here. So there's silver coin. And I can come out here. Moonstone. And as you can see, I can't actually jump off here. So if I come down the stairs, I can just run off. And then we'll grab this one. This is a moonstone as well. And that's everything in here. With the exception of this. So we're going to check it, obviously. There's got to be something in here. What the heck? It won't open. Come on. Come on. Stupid bolt. That's it. I'm going to blow it up. 
So I don't know if you guys have noticed yet or not. Min's reaction to things not going her way is to turn to violence. Such as blowing up something that's not going to open for her. Here, let me take a look at it. Claws. We finally made it. I'm surprised you made it up all made it up those steps. I thought you hurt your leg. I cannot talk today. My leg is fine. Just thinking about this all here made the pain go away. I would have crawled up those steps if I had to. I've come too far to stop now. Jeez, talk about passionate. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. there's a switch. See, nice simple reaction and Mint just wanted to blow it up. Doesn't look like much of a pressure. Amazing, this manuscript must have been written centuries ago. Really? Misi, Misi! I don't understand a thing. I should have taken ancient literature more seriously. Leave it to me. Analyzing ancient manuscripts is one of my specialties. Hmm. Interesting. What? Impossible. Can this be true? What? What? What does it say? Oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> it's just a diary. Haha, <laughs> very funny. What a dork. I believe this diary belonged to the magician who lived here. It has detailed records of his research. From what I've read, it appears this magician is doing research on the creators of the relics. You mean the Aeons, right? I studied about them. They were powerful magicians that ruled the world about a thousand years ago. I heard that I heard they had powers to change the orbit of stars and move landscapes. It's surprising that they all perished. Indeed it is. There are so many theories as to why they perish. Despite their godlike powers, they weren't immortal. Now all that remains are the items they created many years ago. And those items are called relics. That's right. You seem to know a lot. Of course I know. Maya's Book of Cosmos is a Aeon relic. A relic holds unimaginable powers. A great relic can poss probably grant any wish. By the way, why are you looking for the relic, Mint? Huh? Oh, uh... Are you planning for world domination by any chance? What? Dang, he's sharp. Did you find what you were looking for? We should get going. The sun will be setting soon. Alright, I'll take what I need back to town. Dear, can you please go get Rue for me? Mint, I'll need your help to carry all this too. What? You're kidding! The diary had some interesting information about the relic. I'm sure all these materials also contain important facts about the relic, that you and I will need to find it. Tch. Fine, I'll help. Cheese. Thank you. Oops. Okay, I need you to carry these books right here. Dang, this sucks. <laughs> Thanks again, Miss Martha, for letting Mint stay at your inn. Oh, don't mention it. Mint, make yourself at home, okay? Are you sure I can stay for free? Of course. It's the least we can do, Mint. You've done so much for us. You helped Romina in the forest. You helped my husband with his work. Actually, it's more like a crazy hobby, huh? Okay, then. Thanks. You're welcome. 
Oh, I almost forgot. Claus wants to talk to you. Maybe he wants to talk more about today's fighting from the off the air. Come by whenever you want, okay? So, we can now come in here. Are you here to register or, or take a break? So I can heal, I can heal and save, or I can go up to my room. We're just going to heal right now, which I forgot does not heal your magic. Oh well. So you can see up in the top right hand corner there I've got kind of a little twisty arrow. Whenever that shows up it actually means that I can turn the camera. So I can just kind of show different directions here, but so I'll try to remember once to look for that and let you guys see different areas. Now this here is a little shop. This guy was out front earlier talking to people, but now that we've brought Elena back and everything is good and dandy. He's back into his little store. Hello, can I help you? So, as you can see, he sells upgrades. So there's the bronze bracer, silver bracer, the bronze belt, and the silver belt. Each one of those takes up either my attack or my defense. But you can also see I don't have any money. So, you can come here. And every time you defeat a monster, you get like a little tag or something. I'm not sure what they call them really. But you can actually sell those here. So you ha we have the Poliwags, the Saber Tigers, the Mandolas, which were the plant-like things that I was having trouble with, the Gargoyles, uh, we've got Blood and Nightmare, and Stinger. That's what they're called. They're called Stingers, not Hedgehogs. So we can just click on those and sell. And you can see I went from 100 gold to 2,670. I didn't mean to back out of that. But I can also come here and I have two moonstones, which aren't used for anything other than money. So now I have 4,000. I'm actually gonna buy the silver bracer. I don't have enough for the belt, but I am going to draw, or the silver belt, sorry. So I'm going to buy the bronze belt just to give myself a little bit more defense. But if you notice, that actually took the silver belt down in price. So, uh, that's all I can do in here for now. So I'm actually going to show you down here, nice little hallway. So this is just kind of a little back alleyway. If I remember correctly, there should actually be an item here. I don't think I'm remembering correctly. Anyways, so this here is a little bar. So we've got a couple of characters here. Do you know a guy named Rod? He's staying in the field that's in town. I think he's looking for people to fight. So that's just a little kind of heads up to what you can do. Oh, so I'm actually talking to the barkeeper here. I wanted to talk to the waitress, but messed up. So as you can see, I have milk, root beer, and tropical delight. You do tropical delight, which recovered 50% of my MP. Hey, it's good to see you. And then I'm actually going to take a second. I'm going to... Oh, okay. Maybe I just put it in. Oop, here. There we go. So, that, that's basically where I can heal my MP. There is another event that happens in there later, but I don't have anything for it at the moment. And then this here... I'm not able to do anything in here just yet.
but this allows me to increase my strength, my defense, my HP, and my MP. But yeah, that's 30,000 for each one of those. I don't have the money. So, there's nothing you could do there. So that's kind of the back alley area. And then, remember how they said that Rod was living out, or staying in the field outside of town? That's actually over here. This is probably my favorite song in the entire game. So, this is Rod here. Go home, baby. This isn't a place for kids. This is my own battlefield. Whatever. Who are you? Sure you wanna know? Alright, I'll tell ya. I'm a weapon- I'm a weapon maker, a vagrant, and a soldier. I'm Raw the Blade Star. That's Johnny Wolf. Probably the cutest character in this entire game. My best pal. I'm confused. Are you a weapon maker or a swordsman? I already told you. I'm both. I carry my own weapons and pass them in battle. Nothing beats the thrill of a heart and heart battle. You know what I'm saying? Just the thought of great battles motivates me to make better weapons. Hmm. Sounds like fun. Hey, let me see some of your weapons. I can't do that. I only show my weapons in battle. What? Come on. I'm adding words in again. Okay, I'll fight you. What? Don't make me laugh, baby. Fighting you is going to warm my heart. Fight with your heart is meaningless. Sorry, baby. Why don't you go home now? Fine. Yep. Uh, how's your heart now, huh? Damn. Nice kick, baby. You sure pulled me back to your face. Looks to me you've got one hell of a heart. Stop calling me baby. I'm not your baby. I've got a name. It's Mint. Mint, eh? Okay, Mint. Let's see how good you really are. Oh, I forgot. What? I need you to pay up for the fight. A hundred gold. No way. Why should I pay you? That's my rule. Hey, if you win... I'll pay you a thousand gold. Really? The money just makes it a little more interesting. What matters is heart. So you still up for it? I'm gonna click forget it for now, but I'll come back and show you a fight with him later. It's not worth it. That's too bad. I was looking forward to fighting you. I might come back if I get bored. Yeah? Alright, I'll be waiting. So that's another way that you can kind of make a bit of money. Anyway, so to continue the story, we actually come in here. And we're going to come through this doorway and down the, the hidden stairs. Thank you for coming, Mint. What's up? I finished skimming through the stuff we brought back from the other room. Did you find out where the relic is? <laughs> Not quite. But I did find some promising leads. The magician who lived at that altair was also looking for the relic. Here, read this. My endless pursuit of the Aeon relic continues. On the next page it says, the Aeon Relic is sealed by one of the highest orders of magic. Even my powers are incapable of overcoming it. The Relic is sealed? What does that mean? The Aeon who created the Relic probably fears that someone would steal it. So he must have placed a powerful seal to protect it. 
Dang, what a jerk. That means we can't get the relic unless we break the seal. That's going to be difficult. After all, it was sealed by a powerful ale. Like it says in his diary, even this magician couldn't break the seal. I don't think we'll be able to find anything either, even if we find it. Are you saying we should give up? Not so fast. There's more information. You see, the magician wasn't the only one looking for the relic. Listen to this. I cannot break the seal, and I shall seek the powers of the past. Long ago, Grand Magician Elroy and his apprentices also sought after the power of the relic. I must see his research on the relic. I must go to Elroy's Altair of the Underground Relics. I have made a key that will grant me access to his Altair. The power to uncover Elroy's secret is in my hands. And this is the key. With it, we should be able to enter the ruins and find Elroy's Altair. If we can find his Altair, I think we can find out more about the relic. Where are these underground ruins? They are quite far. It takes at least half a day to get there by foot. Okay, let's pack up and get going. Ouch! Dang, I guess your ankle hasn't healed yet. Ugh, it's nothing. Twisted ankle isn't going to stop me from chasing my dream. You're not young anymore. You should stay home and rest. But don't worry. I can go by myself. I'll find Elroy's Altair and I'll bring back whatever I can. No, I can't let you do that. Those ruins are full of monsters. It's too dangerous to go there by yourself. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Alright, just promise me one thing. Don't overexert yourself. If it gets tough, just come back, okay? Trust me, it'll be a piece of cake. I've been everywhere, but there hasn't been anything I couldn't handle. Alright, I'm gonna get going now. Okay. <laughs> this is perfect. Now all the treasure in the underground ruins will be mine. What is it, Mint? Are you plotting something? Well, in any case, please be careful. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this up the Altair. Wow, is that? It is! It's magic! Just as I thought. I can't use it, of course. So you can have it. So, now we've got red magic. Thanks, Claus! Alright, so now... I caught on the uh, little ledge thing there. I don't know what that's there for, but... So... Again, we're just gonna come this way. And now we're gonna go underground room. That's your, uh, doesn't really matter what you say here. I'm just going to say now I remember, just because that's what I normally say, but now I remember your Rue. He's the one looking for the relic with claws. My rival. So what do you want? Claus told me you'd come here. Mint, are you really going inside by yourself? Uh-huh. Keep all the treasure to myself. It's too dangerous to go alone. Claus said these ruins are full of monsters. Don't worry about me. With my magic, it doesn't matter how many monsters are in there. I don't know about that. I heard the monsters in the ruins are very vicious. Really vicious. 
really very... Same word, right? They might be more dangerous than the ones in the forest. I'm coming with you. What? I can't sit back when you risk your life. What? No way! Then I'll have to share the treasure with... Don't worry about me. I'm looking for the relic for my own reasons. Uh, it's not that I'm worried. We'll find the Altair in no time if we split up. I'm gonna go now. I'll meet you at the Altair. Good luck, mate. Hey! Wait! My plan to monopolize the treasure is ruined! Shoot! Dang! I gotta go! I gotta find the Altair before he does! Alright. So... We're actually gonna stop here on this one. And on the next one, we'll run all the way through this lovely little cave. Alright. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.